Hi Pisces, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space. I've meditated on the cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Now if this reading resonates for you, give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I'd like to say thank you to each and every one of you who's liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. And thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. I'm accepting personal readings, so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below. Alright, you have the Two of Cups as the overall energy of your reading, and then you have the Nine of Coins. seconds you have the ace of coins the ace of wands the moon card the page of cups the king of coins and then the lovers all right underneath the deck pisces is the queen of cups so you know, your person realizes and knows that you are the queen of love. And I'm getting someone taking advantage of how much you love or how much love you give. I'm getting this person knowing you're about to take it back or take a step back. I'm getting this person knows that you know well what you deserve all right with the two of cups as the overall energy of your reading can they give what you give can they reciprocate it back that's the question that they've been asking themselves for maybe the last two weeks two months all right can they give you the love that you've been giving them freely they're not really sure i'm sorry i'm getting they're not very sure of that with the nine of coins and then the moon card The thing is, they've been so used to acting single, to being single, all right? So they know, they know that um, they have the freedom. They have the freedom to do whatever they want. They have the freedom to, to date whoever they want. They have the freedom to, to you know, the, live the life that they want, to be single and free. And now that they met you, they're actually struggling. I'm getting their intuition is actually talking to them already and really communicating with them. Really, They're really feeling their emotions. They're really feeling their intuition, I mean. But intuition, if you don't listen to it, it's still your call whether or not you listen to it, right? And this is someone who is kind of reluctant to do so. Why? Because... They feel that they will lose that freedom. They feel that they will lose that freedom. You have the Ace of Coins and then the Page of Cups. Pisces, you're someone who gives stable offers. No matter how much you love, no matter how new this love is, you're willing to give. You're willing to, to establish that you want stability in a relationship. You make this person feel free. 
you make this person feel so loved I'm getting so so loved I'm getting this person is wondering whether you're willing to wait for them for them to offer you the kind of love that you deserve are you willing to wait Pisces that's the question because if you could give st stability I'm getting someone can give you passion this person gives a lot of passion it's very passionate towards this connection this situation this relationship all right but they're not really sure whether or not it's time for them to settle down with the king of coins and then the lover's card king of coins is a stable commitment being offered but it's a slow race this is someone who is pretty slow really thinking about things before they fully commit and i'm getting they know who you are they recognize who you are they recognize that probably your soulmates are twin flames or i don't know remember passion fizzles out and if they cannot commit, even though if they realize that, you know, who you are supposed to be in their life, then I don't know. Because it takes two to make a relationship work, not just one. You have the Five of Swords, the Nine of Cups, again that is solitary energy, and then the Knight of Wands. So you're dealing with someone who has commitment issues, really, has commitment issues. The World card underneath the deck, for some of you, this cycle is, is about to end. All right, this cycle is about to end. All right. This is someone who's acting very selfishly with the Five of Swords. They want love all to themselves. They cannot give love back. The kind of love that you give, they cannot give it back. I'm sorry to tell you that, Pisces. The Empress card as advice for you. Know your worth. You know, you are the Empress. You are the queen of all queens, male, female. It's not really gender-specific reading. We're looking at the energies, but it just means know your worth. Let's see other messages. Sorry, you have house. So maybe this is someone who's very closed off, you know, because they're highlighting to me the fence. Someone who's grand, someone who has a lot to offer, but is very closed off. Other messages. Alright, it's time for me to heal now. I feel you even though we are apart. Alright. Alright. 
So that is all I have for you, Pisces. I hope something in this reading resonated, and if it did, give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading, and stay blessed.